Well, hello guys, here it is, Mr. Goat, and it's time for the fir uh, third race of the year at Las Vegas for the NASCAR Racing 2003 um, sim season here, and uh, your two winners so far this year have been Ryan Newman and Jimmy Johnson, so that is um thing you want to keep in mind here. Here's the standings. I did decide to just not do the chase. And Ryan Newman leads the Winston Cup points. And uh, I did go and change the uh, roster so we don't have, you know, different duplicate drivers, possibly. So, to your cars. here we are at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Kevin Harvick wins the pole for this race. Driver. And um, you can see here your full starting grid. Um, Tony Aran Fellows gets third place for today's race. And let's see who rounds out the field. Um, Jay um, Hedleski Head um, starts in the last place position in the number 90 car. As there's his car right there. Um making his Winston Cup debut here, and, you know, that's going to be pretty good for him. So here's, in fact, uh, the drivers that made it into the race, uh, not everyone made it in. It's Jason Hedleski, so, in that car, here's all the drivers that made it in, or qualified, attempted to qualify for the day's race. Uh, I don't know how much... How many of the drivers did qualify or attempt to qualify? But, you know, we're going to accelerate here to the start of the race. 2004 schedule, first draft, I will probably make soon. But let's go trackside for the command here in Las Vegas. Um, It's going to happen right now. Let's go trackside. Drivers, start your engines! The engines have been fired here from the UA Double Dime Roller Chrysler 400 here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Kevin Harvick and Matt Kenseth on the front row. Oh! Harvick having issues already. At the start of this race, backs into the eight car of Ron Fells. Harvick is out of the race, I think. Oh, that is so weird. So Ron Fellows is now your pole sitter. So that moves up everyone from the back lane. That's going to hurt uh, from behind him up a position. That is the weirdest thing I've seen. So here comes Ron Fellows to the pole position now. As they come back up track, we're still going to start the race on your usual time here. Uh, but here you go, Sonny. I'm liking uh, rocking him where that race got rain shortened. Jimmy Johnson was the victor. So who will win this race? Will it be Ron Fellows here? I think we're going to have a great race here in Las Vegas. 41 of America's best drivers are coming to the starting line. Kevin Harvick already having issues in this race. As here we go. The green flag is going to come in the air here. And we're going to go gambling. We're green in Las Vegas. Jeff Gordon already looking three wide for the lead here. Oh, we're going to go four wide. This ain't going to go well. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, man. Oh, contact already. Ron Fellows put up top. Gets put up top. Rusty Wallace is going to come out, turn three and four. More beating and banging in the back. Rusty, oh, Jeff Gordon gets turned. And to lead the first lap, it's Waltrip. Let's go in the back here. The big one's going to happen. Fellows around. Multiple cars around here. The, a big crash here on the front straightaway. Mike Wallace, Kristen Finnepal, John Andretti, Jack Sprague, Johnny Benson, Jeff Green, Mike Skinner, Jeff Gordon, Kurt Busch, Casey Mears, Jimmy Spencer, and Mike Wallace all get involved in that one. Michael Waltrip, the race leader now. Let's go back and take a look at what happened there with all that. 
By the way, Kevin Harvick is out of this race, I think. Uh, where is Kevin Harvick at? Kevin Harvick uh, will not, who has a, but Kevin Harvick will have a DNS for today's race. Did not start. Different two do not qualify, which is a DNQ, but he DNSs. Oh, we had a flip. We had a car upside down. Oh, Johnson last week's winner got involved in it. It was Johnson that went upside down as well as the 41 car that also went upside down. Oh, man, yeah. Casey Mears went upside down, too, with Jimmy Johnson. Yeah. And, yes, fortunately, everyone's okay. You can see that Jeff Green got spun out, but watch this. Oh, Jimmy Spenton. Wow, Johnson. It's being told that Johnson is all right after that, but look at Casey Mears. That's the third race this year. All the races we had this year has had a blowover. Interesting. That is an interesting fact, I guess. Uh, let's go and change the... Um, camera angle, I guess, so we can have a different camera angle here. I think this one's going to be a little bit better here. Uh, let's go to Jeff Gordon, who got put in the wall. And I think this view will be a little bit better here. So let's go in slow motion here. Yeah, Jeff Gordon ran uh, uh, Matt Kenseth in the wall. Kenseth in the wall there. Newman was just behind there. He had nowhere to go. And everyone behind piles in. Oh. Johnson just what a hit. What a hit that Johnson had there. Um, we're still under the caution flag. Michael Waltrip, your race leader. Can Waltrip somehow maybe win this race? So here's your full list here. 32 drivers are still in the race. Um, Harvick, yeah, is not being credited with the start today, so, because he is out of this race. That's going to hurt him in points. <laughs> Definitely will hurt him in points. Um, but I think we're going to go back green here, yeah. But we're back underway. Green flag. Back in the air here. Already on the back straightaway because I fast forward a little bit too much. Michael Waltrip is out there. To the lead. Here comes Bill Elliott now. Up behind him. Michael Waltrip led the most laps today. He's led all of them. Yeah, Michael Waltrip's led all the laps today. Bill Elliott going to the inside. Here comes Bill Elliott to the race lead in Las Vegas. At least he's going to try to get that race lead here. In his final NASCAR Wins Cup Series season, Bill Elliott has taken the lead for the first time in his retirement season. Fans are loving this. Last year's most popular driver. Bill Elliott leads the slap. Man, look at Elliot. I mean, he's just been fat. He's fast <laughs> this weekend. That's just plain old luck there for Bill. Had a heck of a season last year. Won the Brickyard 400. Here he is with 20 to go leading. So, will he hold on for these 20 laps? Come to lap 9 now. Jeff Burton makes a pass for second place. Let's go all the way. See what's happening in towards the back of the field. Points leader Ryan Newman running in the sixth place position that last lap. And look at this. Look at the shock of the day. Regan Smith running in the 15th position. Tony Raines running 17th. He's um, up there. He's, uh, I think, 13th in points. Tony Raines is. But Regan Smith is up here having his best NASCAR Women's Cup Series showing here. It's just that parody that we do see here, that parody with all these drivers, you know. And, I mean, he just has to run perfect. 
perfect, perfect, perfect in order to make it into the NASCAR once he's got series season series. I think he um, will do well in his career in the future. And yeah, I'm just shocked he's running up here. Uh, and uh, let's go to Ron Fellows. He's running back behind there in the what is it? 17th position gonna go put three wide and he gets in the car along. Him and Ron Fellows and Carl Long get into the wall hard. Around goes the 30 of Jeff Green. Around goes the 30 car. We have a caution here. Man, I actually saw that that time. We're going to talk about Ron Fellows. And it was announced that uh, Jeff Green will be in that car for the next four races. Yeah, I'll be in that car at Atlanta, Darlington, Martinsville, and Texas. And Ron Fellows will be back for Talladega. Dale Jr., I don't think, is going to be happy about that, wrecking his car. Yeah, that is. I mean, it wasn't really his fault, I guess. He got pinched three wide, and, and I just heard the 8 radio. He said, what the bleep was that darn 47 doing? Well, here's what happened. Slow motion here, and look at that. Just oh, it turned up and got oh, lo long. Just hit hard that time, and watch that. Hens nearly threads the needle, but 30 car. I think of Jeff Green and Steve Park hit hit him. Yeah, just not um, the day that Ron Fellows won. So let's go to the 30 car. Jeff Green in the 30. There's two Jeff Greens in this race. Great. Let's watch this, I guess. See, Jeff Green just got hit. Nowhere to go, and Jeff Green hit him back. Steve, we're just going to call it Steve Park. Steve Park hit him in the one. Let's go on board, I guess, with the eight. Jay Foltz there. Um, not running the greatest race of his life. I mean, you know who is? Uh, Ron Fells was about running run a decent race. He had a decent finish in um, Rockingham, but let's go on board. Here's his onboard camera, and you can see here, Carl Long just comes all and Long and just puts both of them into the wall just completely screws them I guess it's gonna hit the eight. that's gonna hurt the eight in points big time I think so there is Ron Fellows there running now in the 22nd position in front of the 22 of Ward Burton number 79 of Derek Cope I think that's Cope who's in the 79 oh Billy Bigley Jr. is in the 79. Bigley Jr. running in the 79. Car today running up there, running well for his first NASCAR Wins Cup Series start. Um, still pacing the field about 55 miles an hour. And uh, let's take a look here at Reekin Smith, who was running up here towards the... 15th position, still about up there in front of Tony Raines, who, like I said, had a top 20 points position here. I think he was 13th, 14th of points uh, when we talked about at the beginning of the show. So I think Regan Smith and Tony Raines, if we, when we go to Talladega um, soon here in the season, I think they're going to have a great shot at winning uh, on that race. A new Arrow package could be tested this week. Regan Smith will be tapped to drive the 8 car for the AI. That's going to be interesting to see how the new aero package goes there for Daytona. It will still separate the cars, uh, make their bunching distance on the cars to 50. They're going to... Oh, what else are they going to do? They're going to put reduced panic diesel on these cars and in increase it just a little bit. And that will hopefully cause these less bigger 
accidents. So we will have one left to go to green flag here. There's 30 car Jeff Green. I wonder if Steve um, Park will be in that car soon here. Yeah, and, and really what I do want to press on here and really preach about is um, not church. It is Easter when I'm filming this, so not um, church-related, Christian-related stuff. But, um, but just a pure parody in the garage and just a pure greatness that we've been having in the races this year. Uh, three, two different manufacturers uh, here on uh, here the victory lane this season. Ford and Pontiac Cab not. We have a Ford running in second place. That's Roush Racing. Fords, they haven't been running. They've been running terrible this year. Not really running up front. It's only been Chevy and Dodges. We haven't seen Fords run up towards the front. We haven't seen Pontiacs run up the front. I mean, we haven't seen really that today, but they need to really get their... Um, I'm glad that Ford got their act together somewhat here and to run up here and contend for wins, but Pontiac start needs to start uh, stacking up their game. There's not a single Pontiac, I believe, in the top 15, let alone the top 20. So, but we're but we're back underway here. Bill Elliott from Dawsonville, Georgia, will take the race lead. Here comes Jeff Burton, challenging, trying to challenge. Until we have what? Oh, look at Tony Stewart going to the bottom lane. He's going to go to the inside of Jeff Burton. <laughs> that is going to be probably the one the boldest moves. Rusty Wallace, terrible crash. He gets projected in the air once again. A big wreck. Matt Kent's been balled. More wrecking. This is terrible. In the look at Rusty Wallace knocked out. He's not moving. That was terrible. I haven't seen that. We're going to have an instant replay here. I hope he's all right. Uh, oh, man. All right. Th this is the second time we've had terrible wrecks in this season. It, it just, it, it's just terrible and unacceptable to see. And it was good old Mark Martin that just turned him in the wall. Oh, great. That was probably... A, I, I don't hate on Mark Martin that much, but that was just stupid. That was, And gets hit by Ken's roof first. Instant red flag. We're going to red flag this event because that, that was just terrible. You just got to pray for the best at this point. Golly, that was just terrible. NASCAR is going to red flag this race. If there's any bad news, NASCAR will unfortunately continue this race. But Bill Elliott's your race leader. Oh, with 10 laps to go. And this is just terrible. I, we're just going to watch this at full speed. Golly! Oh! Oh! That it just... God uh, damn! I'm 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 glad NASCAR decided to put a red flag this race for ten to go because that was just uh, that's just bad. You don't want to see that at all in these races. Well, we have an onboard. We have a spectator cam here. Let's watch this slow, from slow-mo. Can't really see that much. Can't really zoom in that much. But you can just see the pure, utter, this bad impact there that he had. Um, luckily, a few guys swerved to miss. And Kenseth just couldn't have it. Kenseth had nowhere to go. Um, as of now, Rusty Wallace is still in his car. And like I said, you just gotta pray for the best right now. It, it's not looking good. <sighs> Current conditions on the track right now. Red flag. Um, they have stopped the cars in turn one with um, 
Bill Elliott leading this race. Second red flag, first red flag of the day. And we just saw it up here in the booth, and he just got hit hard. I mean, it was just terrible, 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 terrible to see um, these types of drivers, these types of incidences. He, he saw with Rusty Wallace there, pounding the wall, getting hit uh, multiple times, and you just don't want to see that at, at these races. In every race this year, we've had had a um, an airborne incident, so... But, and Rusty Wallace is moving in the car. He's putting the window net down, I think. He was knocked out there for a second. He And he's getting out. That is great to see. Rusty Wallace getting out of the car. Has a limp. Has a limp. He's going to go to the stretcher. He's going to put go put it on the stretcher himself there. Pointing to his... Um, head and arm, and he, yeah, just a limp here for Rusty Wallace. He is all right. I don't know. Uh, it's uh, probably because if he had he heavy head injuries, and Rusty Wallace is okay. He's doing. He looks to be doing great. Reminds me of well, in the future with Larry Pearson's 2009. Wreck, and they are going to take him to a local hospital for uh, for further evaluations. But Rusty Wallace, uh, I am glad to say he's all right. Uh, I am thrilled to see that he's all right. I am just thrilled. So who's going to be in that car next week? I think Rusty might be. <laughs> We don't really know who's going to be in that car. But I don't know what sources would tell me. They're saying that they might as well just um, not qualify the two car for next week if they don't decide to race. I mean, that's just uh, that's just a hypothetical situation. But I think they are going to let Rusty race next week. I think it's just a, probably a concussion. You know, he didn't have that bad of a limp. He wasn't really pointing to his leg. He was more pointing to his head. So I think Rusty Wallace just has a minor concussion. Kind of a concussion. And I think we'll run the race next week. Dale Jr. raced with a concussion last year. So I see why the heck not. And we will have an update on his injuries after the race. And you can hear my voice is doing all right. Um, he, he's okay after that um, wreck. That wreck was just terrible. I hope that wreck is, you know, just... It, I hope these types of wrecks are over. I don't expect the wrecks to be over, but I just don't want those types of wreck happening. Because, you know, that it's been a crazy crap shoot all, all day long and all year long with these cars getting airborne. Um, they told me I had no for cars. Dale Jr. and... Jeff Green's big incident there when they went upside down, then Ward Burton, and then Rusty Wallace, and Jimmy Johnson, and Casey Mears, uh, big wrecks here today. Well, we're going to restart this race here with, oh, seven laps ago. All right, Tony Stewart had a great restart on the last restart. Here he comes, three wide in the back between Waltrip, Gordon, Rob Gordon, and Sterling Marlin. Here comes your point leader, Ryan Newman. Tony Stewart is not there, I don't think. Will Tony Stewart have anything for Bill Elliott? Six laps of racing to go in Las Vegas. Oh, just watch. Just watch this right here. Dodge with their success all year long. Look at Newman sending it for third place. Going to send it on to Jeff Burton. Three or five laps go. Caution waves, I think. I think the caution flags are out. They are out. I think Bill Elliott just won the race. I think it's a smaller incident, though. I hope it is. Oh, Ron Fellows again for the second time today, Rex. He's going to be out of this race, I think. Ron Fellows goes down the pit lane. I think he's alright. 
Oh, it was him in the 90 car. So a two-car incident here. And this is, oh wait, this is the exact same thing and what happened to him and Carl Long and look at that, the 90 got hit head on. Now, the 90 did get out of the car. Let's go take a look at the replay of that in slow motion. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, we had another incident here on the front straightaway, it looked like. With who? Oh, Regan Smith hit the wall pretty good up here. Then that kept it green. Yes, I'm seeing he's having a, such a good day, too, so... It's kind of shocking that you'd see that, and then... And that happens there. 90 car of... Jason Hedleski there. Hedleski had nowhere to go. I'll take a slow-mo look at it. When a pie... Got sideswiped by Jared, I think, and that's sending him up in the wall there hard. Not a way to start off your NASCAR once cup career. I mean, not at all. This has been the most chaotic race of 2003 NASCAR once cup series season. Gonna, gonna put that in a nice way, you know? Just gonna say, hey, this is the craziest race of the year. And who knows what they'll do for next season. At this track. Um, safety improvements, I think, would be the first thing to do. Because he hit that wall head on going pretty fast. I mean, I don't know how fast he's going. Oh, 150, 160 going that wall head on. I'm glad he's surprised he's all right. That Hans device really keeps you in the car that well. But the question is, are we going to go back green? I hope we do. I hope we do go back green. Um, um, this will be the moment of truth. If we are. If we're not, Bill Elliott wins the race. All right, boys. Let them race. We're gonna, let's let these guys for a one-lap dash. Second time, that, second time that's happened this season. Happened in the 500 when 12 cars finished. Guess what? A Dodge one, Ryan Newman one, and look where he is. Third place, and look what manufacturer's leading this race. A Dodge! I said that right, a Dodge is leading this race. So don't count a Dodge out. Tony Stewart, um, really, I think, will have a great race start this time, and I think he might get around uh, Bill Elliott for the win, and maybe, yeah, for the lead in the win, maybe. So you never know. You, I mean, as a driver, I've never been a driver in my life, but in these situations, you just got to run aggressive. Run. You still got to run smart. You still got to run aggressive. And you don't have to, and you can't just run plain old stupid now. You want to be, you just got to be conservative. You look at Jeff Burton there. You see Robbie Gordon. see Bobby Levani, and you see the 25, Joe Nemechek. All those guys might go for the win. I don't think they're going to get the win, but I think they're going to have a good finish here, maybe a last lap pass. Bill Elliott um, has led the most laps today, so he'll get some bonus points um, for leading the most laps. All right. The white flag is going to wave as well as the green flag. White flag is out here from Las Vegas. There's a caution. The They'll race it back. Tony Stewart takes it to the inside on the restart. With Ryan Newman getting followed behind. We're going to have a three-wide battle for the lead. Bill Elliott is going to get the run up high. With Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman is going to run in Stewart's line. It's going to be one of those fantastic finishes here. Bill Elliott is going to go high. We're going to have three cars battling him for it. Tony Stewart gets the lead. It's going to be a close one. Tony Stewart's going to gamble in Las Vegas. He wins the UA Dumbler Daimler Chrysler 400 with a pass on turn four. Tony Stewart with his first win of 2003. Can he? Woo, what a hell of a finish. 
I got to catch my breath. Holy sh cow, that was a good one. That one. That one wasn't just a good finish. That was a great finish. <laughs> Hell of a finish. Heck of a finish. Tony Stewart, first career win of the season. There he is. Bill Elliott gets first, fourth. Man. Ryan Newman falls back to seventh in points. That's weird. But next race will be in Atlanta. We'll see you guys there. Thank you guys for watching. See you in Atlanta for the running. Uh, the Folds of Honor. Uh, quick trip. 500.